Right, today we are releasing or we are reviewing the brand new reel from Shimano, the Shimano Mirabel that is in this hatch right here and it is a pre-release. It hasn't been seen yet and she'll be out in stores in October. Now, uh, that is next month from me filming technically. I guess it could already be out for you guys watching but it's being released at a really competitive price and I have to be honest, in terms of features, it has a lot to offer. Now today we are giving one of these reels away and we are going to talk about the conversation that I had with Shimano about exactly why they did not put a line roller bearing in this reel and whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. But for the moment, I'm going to launch this boat. Let's get into it. So this right here is the Shimano Miraville. What you're looking at is a 2500 size reel. I've got it on a, uh, a Shimano X-Pride uh, 6.6 rod, uh, nice little tiny rod to throw it up in the sticks that you can see in the snags behind me. But this is the reel. Now I finally can talk about it. I had to sign a non-disclosure agreement on this reel and I wasn't allowed to say anything until it was released at the trade show earlier this year. I think it was the start of August that the uh, Australian trade show occurred after. And this reel will be in the market hitting stores this month in October. So I've been playing around with it for a little bit and I've got to say, I've really enjoyed using it. Again, the standard caveats always apply here, not a sponsored review, but a big shout out does go to Shimano for allowing the channel to have a look at this reel prior to it being released. It technically is a sample. If I have a look at the bottom back side of this uh, little handle here where it uh, goes into the grip, it does have a uh, sample written. So it is not a final uh, production piece that you will be buying in the store. Now, in terms of where it sits in the market, it is at a really interesting price point. So $190, a little bit cheaper than the Miraville, gets you the Shimano Nasky that we reviewed on the channel last year that we loved, that we said was affordable and great, but now I am no longer recommending it because for an extra $30, you get the Miraville. Now, if you bump up from the Miraville, you go to the Stratic FL at $360, and then eventually to this reel here, one of its best, and one of Shimano's best selling reels, the Shimano Vanford. Now, I was pretty critical when we reviewed this about 18 months ago. I just didn't like the makeup and the balance of the reel, and it's made from CI4 Plus material. It's been around for a little while now, but it's a composite material, so it doesn't rust, and that makes it really sweet and awesome, high end, material and makeup. Now, the reason I mentioned that about this reel is because, excitingly, that is what the Miraville is made from. CI4 Plus, sub $250, and I think it brings a lot to the market for this price point. Now, it's not the only composite material makeup reel that is out there. Daiwa's, Shima, uh, Daiwa's Freems comes in at $220 as well or around about that price point. So I guess you could say if you're comparing both the Daiwa and Shimano uh, brands, this would be up against Freems. When I spoke to Shimano about who this you know, reel was really aimed at, they talked about it being the gateway reel for their customers. And they were actually pretty clear about it. Their words were, they want to target people who have progressed from that entry level. So say you've made a first purchase of a $100 reel or a $100 rod. This is the first, I guess, reel that they really want you to spend a little bit of money on so that you get a taste for that high-end gear. Nothing new, a bunch of brands do it, but it gives you a bit of an idea of who the reel is exactly targeted to. So I am happy to say that the reel feels really good in the hand. It's got a great balance to it and moves freely. It feels really, really nice as you're retrieving or winding that reel. As it sits on the deck, I've got no shame in saying it, but it's the reel that I've really been hunting for over the last few outings. I've really wanted to use this reel, and for me, that's pretty exciting. Not only because I want to produce content for you guys, but it's up the front, it looks nice in my opinion. I like that blue kind of color there, and I really like it. And when you like something, you, gen you generally want to go reaching for it. And I've found myself over the last, I guess, month or so, really reaching for that reel in particular. The best thing about this reel, though, in my opinion, is that Finally, we are at 200 grams for a sub $300 reel for Shimano. And I think that is 
you know, pretty big news for them. Obviously, it's because of the CI4 Plus composite materials uh, that's being used so that you don't have that metal in there weighing it down like you do on the NASCI. And I think that's the big reason that I say choose this one over this one. This is significantly lighter. I feel as though holding this entire rig is lighter than this. It's not, obviously, but um, it just feels more balanced. And coming in at 205 grams, technically for the 2500, I think that should be celebrated. Well done, Shimano. Daiwa are a little bit ahead, obviously, in their weights, and that's probably something that they've really looked at over the last, I guess, couple of years, going sub 200, but it's really nice to see Shimano making those steps, and it's good from a reviewer's perspective to see. The other thing about both of these reels is that everything that's good about the NASCI reel, the ARC spool, the Hagani drive, the silent drive, or the Hagani gear, I should say, the silent drive, the cross ship, and the core protect uh, oil that they put on there that repels salt water, not, not, it's not completely salt water proof, but it repels the water, is also in this bad boy, it's just that this guy has got the CI4 plus material composite. Also, I'd say the choice between the two is pretty obvious. I've just turned up a couple of two little dude buddies they're there, they're like, what are you, you, what are you doing filming? Are you, are you a YouTuber? Legends. My YouTube channel. What is it, Gromit? How cool is it? Uh, Byron, B-Y-R-O-N. Just up around the corner. Well, if you turn on that. Yeah, it's tiny, guys. Hey, little guys. Yeah, we caught four redfin yesterday. What are you using there? Just, uh, little, uh, yeah, hold on. See if I can give you something. Oh, yeah. Give you something easy go. Try these, mate. These are double clutches. Yeah. One of my favourite lures. They'll be yeah. perfect for little red fin around here. Yeah. Yeah. And you just wind them slowly, give them a twitch every now and again. Stop. Stop, twitch, twitch. Yeah. The video will be out tomorrow, I think, or maybe Sunday, but I give one away. Like it's a $250 reel. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. So how do I enter? Yeah. Watch the video. Alright. See ya. So if you're here for the giveaway, this is what you need to do to enter. And in one week from today, one week that is, we will announce who is going to get their hands on one of these when stock gets into Australia. Firstly, you need to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment below on what you would use the Miravel for. All the standard things, uh, whether it's the light game, or flathead fishing, or bass fishing, whatever you're into, tell me what you would use your 2500 size for. The second thing you need to do is be a member of the channel. Membership costs as little as a dollar a week and helps me stay independent and create the content on the water that you guys enjoy. Truthfully, fuel is pretty bloody expensive at the moment, so, your contributions do 100% help me stay on the water producing this content for you guys. As always, I appreciate your support, but like I said, we'll announce the winner in one week from today, so get involved. So let's talk about the thing in this reel that I think could be a little bit better. Firstly, you have to appreciate that this reel is a $220 reel. We're not talking about a $500 reel or a $1,000 Stellar, for example, those reels have a lot of gear that goes into them. Obviously, they're lightweight, but this here is a sub $250 reel. What does that mean? It means that when you're using it, you're probably going to get a few loops over the top, a little bit more than you would on a reel that's got a better top lip or has got a little bit more technology in the top area of the reel. So that's something that you might need to manage. The casting for me was no problems. It wasn't the extraordinary distances that I might get from a long stroke spool. It is just a normal spool on this bad boy. But lastly, I think the one that I wanna talk about is the fact that they do not have a line roller bearing in here. Now, admittedly, the line roller bearing, the bearing that you find in here on most mid-range uh, reels does seize up a bit so it is a common point of failure if you like now Shimano will tell you and I, when I spoke to them on the phone they actually said this as well you know this isn't necessarily a bad thing that they've got a single alloy collar piece in here that does spin around and their idea here well the positive is that if you don't have that bearing in there then it won't corrode and it won't rust to that I say that is the glass half full approach and they are right the glass half envy approach, if you're that type of person, would be that there's a reason that you usually put a bearing in here, and that is to allow the line to run a little bit smoother 
uh, as you're retrieving it. And without it, you're not gonna be as smooth, and that's okay. Remember, we're talking about a $250 reel that is banging in all the other features that it does come. I am just being my analytic self and really tearing apart this reel. The last thing that I did find interesting when I spoke to Shimano about this was that it is actually made in in Malaysia. Now, a lot of Aussies like this idea that, you know, only good quality things come from Japan, and I've really got to debunk that. When I was talking to Shimano about this reel, they basically said to me, look, the reel is made in Malaysia, but it's not outsourced to a third-party factory like a lot of our products in Australia is. There is some pretty rubbish uh, fishing line and braid that's out at the moment. It's coming out of Vietnam from a third-party factory. But the interesting thing about this factory is that it is a Shimano factory. So the workers are employed by Shimano. They wear Shimano uniforms. The quality control is governed by Shimano. And for all intents and purposes, it is 100% Shimano, exactly the same as what you would get out of Japan, which I really found interesting when I was talking to the guys here in Australia about it. I certainly didn't know that, I just thought it was an outsourced uh, factory, but it was a pleasant surprise to learn that the quality controls that are in this reel are exactly the same as what you would get out of factories that come directly out of Japan. And I think that's a pretty cool story. On the reel, you will score that 10 year warranty that Shimano does have, and it is the longest one that I know of on the market. So if you do have issues with that Malaysian factory, I guess you can just send it back and get another one. Look, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember the giveaway, stay safe. I'll see you next time.